All right, so how to make money in Horsehaven. This is my little farm. All my little doodads. When you first start playing, you're normally handed a quarter horse, and then you either end up getting an Appaloosa, or a Mustang, or something along those lines. Which are cool horses, don't get me wrong. But they're not your money-making horses. These guys are. Frisians. Gypsy Banners. Um, my Shikatee Ponies. My Arabians. Frisians. My Shikatee Ponies. Um, this little guy here is my Gemini horse. He's another good money-making horse. The, the special horses that they have. Like right now, they have this special going on. I'm not a big fantasy person, so I wouldn't go for this, but that horse is probably a good one. Um, the deals they have going on right now with these guys, they have Pershrons and I believe Pasifinos. Um, so if you, can, if you wanna spend the extra money, the actual money, then that's a good way to do it, to get a hold of some money-making breeds. Um, I did not spend money on my normal horses. That's the only horse I spent money on. And he's probably the only fantasy horse I will ever get a hold of for real cash. And the only reason I got a hold of him is because he's a Gemini, and so am I. So I kind of took a liking to him. Um, the fastest way to get a hold of money-making horses is this girl here. I started with no friends. So you need to check out Amy and see what she has. And she actually gives you one breeding to this Appaloosa here. <clears throat> and that's how I got my Mustang, which again, really isn't a good money-making horse. But if you go through and look at what you have and look at what she has, it's a good way to start. Um, the other good thing to look at, oh, hold on, is to go as soon as you can and join a club. As soon as you get into the club, the person who starts the club more than likely is a higher level than you and there might be two or three more members that are higher level than you as well. Check out their horses. I, this person's 38. You can either See, and she has, she has a Pershawn right there. So, what you can do, she's got a lot of really nice money-making horses. Um, what you can do is breed your quarter horse, or your Mustang, or your Appaloosa, your, your little starter horse, to this person to any of whatever breed you want. You're gonna get three choices. One of the babies is gonna be a tier one of whatever horse you're using, whether it's a quarter horse or an Appaloosa or a Mustang, one of the starter breeds. 
Your second choice is going to be whatever you're breeding to. So your Percherons, um, Thoroughbreds, whatever it is you're breeding to. And then your third choice is normally whatever combo those create. We can care less about that third choice and we can care less about the first choice. All we want is whatever we're breeding to. The diamonds for to increase that, you're gonna want, mm, I'd say at least 50 diamonds. Make sure you have at least 50 diamonds and you get them this way. Click that little truck, watch. That's one free diamond. Leveling up, you get free diamonds. So you're racking up diamonds in the beginning because you're leveling quickly. Hoard, hoard them, hold on to them. And as soon as you can, breed to a higher horse. I would breed twice because then you'll get two tier one, whatever horse it is you're breeding to. So like that first example, it was a Percheron. Breed to that Percheron twice. You'll get a male and a female. Now you have your own tier one starting group of Frisians or Percherons that you can use. Breed them, get your tier two, get, get a pair. Breed them till you get a pair. Take that pair, breed them. You'll get your tier, tier three Percherons. That's how I ended up with every single one of my horses. My Gypsy Vanners, this guy here. I can't remember. I think one of my other club members had the Gypsy Vanners. The Percherons, there was a club member that had a, the Rocky Mountain breed, and I bred, I think the combo is Mustang to Rocky Mountain. And that's how I got my Frisians. Um, and then the Arabians, someone just happened to have an Arabian. I bred to it specifically to get my own Arabian. And there you go, that is the fastest way to get some money making horses. After that, it's leveling them up. Literally just leveling them up. Um, and you want to try and do it as quickly as possible. And while, while you're leveling them up, you want to run races. Basically what I do is I drain them all, race them till I drain them. Like literally race until I drain. Um, this one has eight. So I will run this race in particular costs 20. So I will go down my horse list and anybody who has 20 or more I just run this race until everyone has under 20. Then I go to my next race which is Japan which is 18 so anyone that has 18 or over I run that race until everyone's drained. Then we do um, Brazil. Brazil is 15 energy. So everyone who has 15 or more energy, race that one until everyone's under 15. Then I go to, I believe the next one after that is Australia. And Australia is 12. So everyone who has 12 or over, I run that. And I just keep going down my list this way. So we're going to pick this one again. Anyone who has, this one has over 20. And we're going to run it. So 
I have tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 Arabians. I have just tier 1 Frisians, just tier 1 Gypsy Banners, and just tier 1 um, Chicoteague Ponies. Those are my money makers at the moment. Um, I will be breeding my Frisians and my Gypsies to get the higher levels as soon as I get more barns available that I can actually open up. But that is literally exactly what I did in order to get the coins that I needed. Every time I bred them, of course the higher tier horses, like if you're breeding tier one, you only need like maybe 50 diamonds to get what you want. Because that's what I use my diamonds for. I strictly use my diamonds just to make sure that I get what I want when I breed. I don't use my diamonds for anything else. That's why you notice I have like a hundred and something diamonds. Because that's the only time I use them. I don't use them for racing. I don't use them for my crops. I don't use them to skip things. They are strictly used for my breeding purposes. That's the only time I use diamonds. See, I could use it here, but I don't. It's silly. It makes no sense. For me, it's not worth it. Now, just keep going down our list. It's 12, 12, 24. So let's run this girl. Um, you can Google Horse Haven um, breeds and you can find a breed that you really want. And then go through your club members lists. You can actually search. I'll show you how to do that. this I will show you how to search. Most players, at least in the two clubs that I've been in, because I do club hop, or I have club hop, I was invited to another club so I did, I left and went to this new club where I am one of the higher People, but I still have all the friends from the old club, which is nice because I can still see them. I can still interact with their horses and all of that fun stuff. All right. So once you have the club and you've joined, you can click this right here. The common horses. And you can actually search. Let's search from rarity. Okay. So these, these horses here are the really rare ones. So let's just say Clydesdales. Male Clydesdale. Let's look and see. So it's literally searching this person's horses right now for a tier one Clydesdale male. No match. And you can literally go through your friends list just like this. I'm hoping someone has a Clydesdale, I don't know. Okay. 
Let's pick something a little... Oh, let's do this one, because I know people have these. So now we can look. No match. this but anyways you can literally go through and search your friends and see see Shetland pony tier one male and I'm literally just gonna click through and when someone has it Let me pick one I know someone has, so we can I can show you what happens when they do. And yes, I am playing on my desktop. I use Blue Stacks to be able to do that. Because playing on my phone, the screen is small and I can't see. I know somebody has one of these. Let's pick a cheaper one. I want you I want to be able to show you guys what happens when it finds the breed you're looking for. See, there we go. So she has a tier one male, a female Appaloosa. And see what happens? It switches from search to visit. So you can literally go through, they make it really easy to literally go through and find the breed and the sex you're looking for so you can breed to them. Um, not that hard. Then once you get your horse, and your money making horses, as I call them, then it's just race. Race until you drain them. I'm still going down my list. This guy has 36, so we'll race him. Start with the race, whatever race it is that you're at, whichever one is the highest, takes the most amount of energy. Start with that one and work your way through your list. So after I get done with this race, I'll show you what I mean by drain your horses.
and you can see how much coin I'm racking up. In the top right hand corner. Now this is a tier 3 Arabian. And he is a higher level. So he can run long. Oh, there was a fence there that I didn't even see because of the bridge. But anyways. So there's the distance I went. I got an automatic 700 for racing a tier 3 Arabian. And then that's how much money he happened to rack up. And I'm number fourth. I can really care less where I place in here. All right. So, I'm picking this race, but we're not gonna run it. So I ran this guy in that race already, and he's down to nine. So the next one, the next race after that would be Japan, and I already know Japan takes 18. So that race isn't gonna work. And then next would be Brazil, but I know that's not gonna work either because that takes 15 and we only have nine. So then we have Australia, which I believe is 12, yep. Yeah. And so he can't run that one. The next one is Russia, which I believe is eight. There we go. So we're gonna run eight. And that'll drain him. And that's exactly what I mean by drain. And this is what I do when I play. After I've gone through my entire list, after I've drained everybody, then I go through and I feed everybody. And then I just do it all over again. If they don't have enough energy to run a race, then they get to sit. Sometimes I'll wait, like if I know if, if a horse has their max energy is over 20. Sometimes I'll wait. I won't race them again until they max their energy up again. And then I drain them again. getting distracted but so that's what you get drain race or race drain feed race drain feed and you just keep at it and then I mean see in just the few races I've raced there you go I'm already up to a hundred so I hope this helps um, I have other videos too that are just of my farm and my horses and um, I like to interact with people so if you want to head watch those movies leave comments if there's anything else you guys would like to see let me know in the comments I can make videos on those um, I think that's it happy racing everyone and I will see you later